It's really a high level competition. You know, all these different guys, different skill sets, different knowledge coming into the room. A lot of, uh, a lot of, I'll say hours, games played. So a lot of reps. So, you know, just trying to be on point in every step of the way from the communication to what we've seen on the field, communicating to our guys, then to the technique, just uh, going really down to your fundamentals. Not make sure you're not taking any false steps in your uh, your line assignment, your techniques. So high, very high. Do things like communication come quicker when it's veteran guys, or does, is that still a process that has to play out? Uh, definitely, because once you're a veteran, you've seen so much things. Uh, just over the years, you anticipate things. Typically, a lot of offense do majority of the same stuff. So you know you kind of get a feel for it, and you're just able to just communicate, alert the movers, and play fast. You're headed into year two of this landing and loop white defense. Just where do you feel like you've grown the most in it? Um, I've grown the most just learning more of the fronts, just learning more of so what the backers and the, uh, the D linemen are doing, along with what I'm doing in the back end. So it helps me understand the bigger picture, not just my job. So I'll say in that area. Where are you lining up right now? So, I think you were yeah, free last I'm, year. I'm at safety, so I'm free boundary. I go back and forth. I know both really well. Was the plan for you to rep it both during the year, or did, do you want to settle on one spot, or what's, what's kind of the hope of plan there? So that's up to the coaches. Like I said, I'm versatile. I can play wherever. So, like I said, wherever they need me, I'm I'm available and ready to go. Just going back to last year, you're one of the few guys, well, even this year, you're one of the few guys who was here during the Levitt era, mm -hmm. which means four DCs in five years. Mm -hmm. Not making excuses, just saying that's hard. That's mm -hmm. a challenge to it learn is. that much terminology. It is. So, at times, last year when the defense had some struggles, speaking at least for yourself, how much of that played into it maybe at times is just – it's a lot of terminology, a lot of things I have to figure out. So it's just the amount of scheme changes part of that? Um, for me personally, I didn't have that problem. Just the amount of reps coming from, you know, winter conditioning, looking at the film, doing walkthroughs, the spring ball, getting those reps, then the, then that off-season break, then going into fall camp. It's a lot of opportunity to get reps, a lot of opportunity to kind of throw away the old terminology and then come in with the new terminology, kind of like a refresh. And I take great notes, so I don't really have that problem for me personally. So. What stood out to you about Evan Williams since he got here? Say, say that one more time. What has stood out to you about Evan Williams since he got here? What stood out to me? Uh, he's just a big effort guy. Big effort guy. Just one thing about Evan, no matter what, you know he's going to go hard. And he's going to play fast to the best of his ability. Even if it's even if he has a mistake, it's going to be a mistake at 100 miles per hour. So. What about Taishin? What has he shown so far? Taishin he seems like a very physical player. He's real physical. Like And then like so I tell him one thing, he knows what, I, what I'm uh, talking about, even though he's still learning defense, but he understands defense, grand scheme. So like so I tell him one thing when he's on the field with me, and then he just understands and he's able to go. What's it like going from Bennett to Evan? And are you, are you sick of the Williams yet? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the, love the Williams, man. Just all across the board, even their, uh, his dad and his, and his mom and everything, they're all good. Uh, it's, it's definitely different. You know, Evan, he I would say he's not as reckless as his brother, in a sense, you know, uh, no, no harm, no foul, but I think it's, it's just fun. It's just playing with uh, them, the brothers for sure. Cause I kind of got to know Evan a little bit, like just just being around a uh, 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 Bennett, so it's fun. It's Coach Hampton brought to that room. That's again, you've had a lot of position coaches. So, what what makes him unique as a position coach compared to the three or four others you've had over the years? So, so just from a position coach standpoint, they all bring something different to the table, you know. So like. I, like, I, I don't know if I can necessarily just point out one thing right this second, but it's just they all have different ways they coach and different ways they explain the defense to you. So, like, I might understand it one way being that I'm a vet, but then he's like, hey, look, you know it this way, but also be alert to this. Like, he's also bringing in tendencies that offense might do, what type of place that they run based off the different formations and things like that. So definitely just uh, more of like a, a game planning type of mm -hmm. uh presentation, I would say, because he was a D.C., mm -hmm. so he does understand what offense they're trying to do. So it's just fun to have that in the room. Dana's talked a lot about year two being a major time for growth in this defensive scheme. Have you seen that among the players? Have you seen it really start to click for a lot of the guys out there? For sure. So I would say a lot of young guys that like weren't really so heavily incorporated last year, they're definitely stepping up and definitely understanding what they got to do and uh, th their role, that they, they need to have a bigger role this coming up year because now it's like really their time and, and we need everybody. We, we don't need just a couple of people, we need everybody. So definitely seeing guys step up. Who comes to mind when you think of young guys who are stepping up and taking that next step? Uh, Anthony Jones, one of the guys. I see uh, Anthony Jones in the offseason just really pushing himself, you know, being lift of the week, at, like I think every week, just, just grinding just from the – Offseason training, then now coming in, he's doing his lineman assignment, his techniques, he's communicating out, he's playing fast, playing smart, he's playing physical, and it's just really fun to watch him play. Is it ideal that the pass rush, or I hope that the pass rush is going to be better this year than it was last year? How beneficial is that to you, and have you seen that so far through spring practice? So, uh, we always say working, uh, uh, rushing coverage work together, so if they're able to do their job, 
it makes our job easier. You know what I'm saying? It throws off the timing because a lot of like with our offense, it's, it's oftentimes a lot of uh, timing throws. So even though we might collision the route, if the passer doesn't make it home, the the play is they might have a play. So it's definitely uh, good, and it's been it's been good for me. Uh, well, uh, it's been good. This brings us far. The pass rush, but like I said, they were getting a lot of rotation, different guys. So we're getting veterans with young guys. So it's just, it's just, it's been good. In the spring, when you're not competing against another opponent, you guys are competing against yourself. How do you feel like that competition really helps you and prepares you and improves you for when you do face a real opponent in the fall? So we got a lot of good players, like a lot of, a lot of good players. And again, it's competition within your room. So not only are you competing against, you know, the guys across from you, but competing with guys in your room. So we're trying to. It's, it's, it's really fun. It's really fun. It gets really competitive. And it's just like at the end of the day on the field, it's like you got to go out there and dominate somebody. And when we're off the field, you know, we're brothers at the end of the day. So it's definitely fun and we have a good time doing it. You're one of only a couple of 60 year guys, Steve. Say what now? You're one of only a couple of 60 year guys. For sure. You and Popo and, and Jones are thinking about it. Uh, BA yep. also. Um, why was it important to you to, to come back and finish out another year? I just feel like. I left a lot of money on the table last year. Like I, really, I didn't have any interceptions. I really didn't have too much, uh, too many pass breakups. Missed a couple of tackles. So I just want to capitalize on, on anything that I lacked, any areas that I lacked in my game last year. You know, to give myself the best opportunity for the next level. What does a good twenty twenty three season look look like for you in that sense? Uh, I would say what I had. I think I had like maybe forty three tackles last year. So more than forty three tackles, and then like three, three to four picks. I, I would be happy.